Yeah, something very interesting and something very hopeful. Um, you know, the, the relationship with radio and, and the record industry has always been, you know, it's just, just such a game and a head trip of egos between, you know, people trying to get ads, PDs, and it just the whole thing has been a mess. But, you know, radio now is nothing but, like, ground noise to most people. Um, uh, and, you know, it, it's been a, like I said, it's been a very difficult relationship, but something very, very cool happened, and, and uh, some, some uh, genius, I, I have to say it, I have to admit it, uh, called a really good shot here. Uh, in, in the Christian market, Christian music, uh, there is a radio group called Salem Communications which really caters to, you know, spiritual music, Christian. It depends on what station you're listening to. They try to keep it softer than calling it a Christian radio group, but that's their core message. And the music on there is very uplifting and positive. And, uh, but you know what they did is that about eight months ago, they bought GodTube, which is like the Christian version of YouTube. Uh, very positive, heavily moderated, making sure they keep it clean and stuff. But I said, holy smokes, I, I now have now a little bit of hope and faith that radio just might last a little longer with a move like this because uh, what an incredible marriage of new technology and old school uh, deliver of delivery system like radio. What a great opportunity to de-sterilize a relationship between new up-and-coming artists and indie labels and radio. Now, radio has its standards it has to follow by the, you know, the FCC, uh, but they can do an incredible justice uh, to themselves to make money, to do what they need to do, but to also embrace new artists by doing crowdsourcing contests on GodTube with new artists. Uh, being able to have these contests that also are reflected on their apps, their radio station apps. Um, also because, um, as far as I understand, at the moment, um, the relationship between what they do on GodTube and promote as far as, uh, you know, put together your favorite GodTube playlist on GodTube and stuff like that, and being able to be proactive in uh, supporting new artists in the new medium of uh, social media and still bringing new, fresh ears and attention to an older medium like radio, uh, at least in the case of, of, you know, the super niche market of Christian music, I think they have an incredible opportunity. My concern is, though, you know, still, um, in the back, I've been watching, it's not moving in a, in, a, in, a, in a very aggressive way, and I think it's because, you know, there's a lot of people in the radio industry that are thinking, you know, they got to get, you know, they got to sell the 30s. You know, the internet quite hasn't proven itself to be more than, okay, here's here's just a little bit here on our line items of what we're making on our, you know, internet income. Uh, I think, without a doubt, with uh, an aggressive crowdsourcing campaign, promoting new music, um, I think you can do an incredible job. You meaning Salem Communications, if if anybody ever gets a chance to hear this. Um, I think they can really be, it's, it could be that last kind of gasp, if you would, you know, that they could stave off that last gasp of radio disappearing because as we know, you know, cars are coming up with, uh, you know, non-radio, USB, Pandora-driven uh, utilities that are being put in. And, and as, as one of a, a dear friend of mine said once, it's about dashboard real estate and radio is losing that slowly but surely. But uh, if somebody like Salem Communications and GodTube are able to cohesively really focus on it uh, and put a little time and energy there, there's no two ways about it. I think that Salem Communications can be groundbreaking in this opportunity, in this partnership with GodTube. Now, of course, that's GodTube. That has to do with Christian music, but it doesn't mean that, you know, we don't open, somebody doesn't open up like, you know, country tube or rock tube or, or new age soft jazz tube or something in that, you know, where you can, you know, utilize a crowdsourcing situation with some traditional and still be able to make it cost effective. That's the bottom line is making it cost effective. And while um, the decompression of advertisement money is still going towards the internet, it's going to really quadruple in speed in that direction because now as more of the PDAs have become extremely inexpensive, 
Um, now with all the new tablets coming out, like I mentioned before, um, this is the direction where it's all headed. And uh, you know, with radio stations developing their apps and stuff, you know, like I said, if Salem Communications can pull this off correctly, I think they could really uh, be a very powerful player in uh, supporting the new up-and-comers in the music industry and still supporting their bottom line. So, but one can only be hopeful. You know, I've had experience already with radio, and you know, except for a few people there they're still you know pushing a bone I got to sell my 30s and do this and they're not quite paying enough attention so fingers crossed but hey that's just my opinion that's why you asked the question that's what I gave you